Joseph Harris. Here. Sig Shore. Present. Wait, can you imagine pulling one of them things into the boat? <laughs> ah, the international symbol for no dragons. <laughs> When one sword tries to get along with an incorrigible dragon. Many, many years ago, there was a faraway land on the other side of the world. The Catskills. A land richly endowed by nature. Wow. wow. A land of golden lakes, rolling hills, and fertile soil. But hovering over this once happy land like an evil cloud. George Clinton. Was the face of a ruthless enemy. I said no cameras. Gun chief of thundering tribe of cougars at your lincoln mercury who deal. ravaged the land south central copasan pillaged and burned its cities king friday's kingdom leaving desolation and despair in wow. their terrible past and bad editing in their wake <laughs> across the breadth of a countryside once peaceful the hordes of kali and savage cougars rode killing burning ravishing itching flaking brutality unmatched in history Coming soon to a theater near you. Our story begins in a quiet village in this besieged land. Made out of toothpicks. A pits. village which lives in constant fear of Colleen and his invaders. So move. Man, she's a fox. Take a picture, why don't you? Oh, the perv is looking at me again. Don't look, you'll only encourage him. God has given him the body of a warrior. His legs are useless. And he cannot move a single step. The are kind. The are oh, cowies! The oh, they spent a lot of money on a fortress, but no gate. <laughs> Man, this movie is already 50 times more expensive than all the movies we've seen put together. The chores! Come on, honey. There you go. Hey, no one invited me to the pillaging. Go, girl. Right on woman. <laughs> she will make quite a tasty dish to take to our cheese. I'm not that tasty. I'm mostly gristle. The caravan must be golden. Hey, watch the hands. Don't get fresh. Let Pat Carroll go, you beast. Dan Haggerty. hands I cannot lift to help them. I bowled last night, and I'm pretty stiff. Wagons East! Hey, the caterers are here! Where are we going nights? Oh, I know with them on my way. This is not the shortcut! Doctor Who. At long last, our nation says no to Renaissance festivals. Finn Roper, here at the Mongol Rodeo. Spare me, I beg you. Come closer, my blubbering <laughs> one, and let me take a look at you. You seem to be well fed. You're heavy enough. Oh, please spare me, sire. I'll do anything you wish. Anything. Wash yeah. my car and pick up Tina from piano lessons. Swear you'll serve me. Uh, yes, sire. I will. I will. You can have anything I own. Here, see this? A finger towel. Great. <laughs> and here's a soup sliver. Please spare my life. Listen well, son of misery. You know my dad? Send this to us as a signal to Chief Cullen if the Prince's soldiers have left the city. I shall await your signal at the river in seven moons. Ah, hear me, O Miss Danny K. If you fail us, if you deceive us, you shall die like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> This was a time of giants and dragons. And low inflation. When brave and fearless men rose up to perform mighty deeds against the forces of evil. I'm Mike Wallace. Mightiest of all was Invincor, mighty Invincor. defender of the righteous. And a nice who guy. Who raised his magic sword across the breadth of the land to smite the enemies of the just. Riding Lori Barbero. After many years, when Invincor had grown weary with age, his tasks were done. He was given a farewell banquet and a small TV. As ye travel far and wide, O ye wandering pilgrims. Ah, uh, boss. Seek hey. out a young man. Hey, boss. Stout of heart, strong of arm, and brave of spirit. And taught of buttocks. And when you find such a man, give him this, my magic sword, 
to defend our land and our people from all manner of enemies. And get the five bucks Farewell. he owes me. His huh? last deed done, in Vinsor turned to stone to become part of a legend that would live for all time. How many prologues does this movie need? <laughs> then they harvested the charcoal briquettes. Boy, farmers really need the rain, huh? <laughs> the heat is blowing up my skirt. Whoa. Ow, 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 ow. At least I saved this stick. I'm thirsty. Oh, what's your poison? Patience, my son. Oh. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Next, I suppose you'll want something to eat. I've never had anything to drink, and I've done just fine. Hmm? Ah, good. They reached the ranger station. Good morrow to thee, stranger. We are weary travelers. What is thy name? I am Ilya Moromet, son of Theodore. You pay at the first window. Could you bring us some water? Glad would I be to serve you, but I cannot move from this chair. Come into my house and drink your fill. Thank you. Come. I should warn you, I'm just a torso. At Jellystone Park. And a poster of Sun Ra. <laughs> Greetings to thee, Ilya. Yeah, yeah. Could you bring me a magazine? I know you gentle pilgrims have traveled far and wide. Remember, FDIC. Tell me of the evils that have befallen our beloved country in these days of darkness. Our poor and troubled land is plunged into woe deep as the sea. Those cursed Tugars plunder, rob, and kill. If only I had my strength back. Hmm. I could help defend my country in her hour of need. But I've been classified 4F. You could beat this guy up. Drink the dew of the magic grass, Ilya, and perhaps thy strength will return. Here's some Haley's M.O. Thank you, my son. Drink this, young man. Drink hearty and pray. Please, sir, could I have more? Ilya likes carrots, doesn't he? Dost thou feel the strength returning to thy veins yet, Ilya? I'm less thirsty. Yes, yes, I can. Cop and a buzz. But... Walls are moving. Splash. I still cannot move. Patience, my Ilya. Thy strength shall indeed return. I promise thee. Uh, hold on, I'm having a montage. It's the line for Wild Mountain. Oh, that was one high colonic. Yes, sir, I feel like a new man. Let's get you back to your room, Mr. Togelson. I'll take these. I'll just wear them out of the store. I feel good all under. First thing, I take off the burlap dress. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Swedish Moses of Seoul. Uh, hey, who left all my tools laying around in the front yard? I'm feeling positively demonstrative. I can almost tell my wife I love her. Oh, I need to sit down for a while, believe it or not. Take thou the magic sword of Invincer and be thou like him. We don't want to carry it anymore. This is the best tasting sword ever. Thank you, good friends. I sold the sword and bought some finished vodka. Yep, pretty much. Uh, how my hands yearn to feel the good rich earth and the honest toil of the farmer once again. Go ahead and grab a plow, then. Work the fields with my father. I thought he was the father. It's a good crop of stumps. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'll get the bobcat. Wow. Uh, we want that. Root up the tree stumps. And we'll have a tree stump of fun. I'll Cast see how many times I can rocks. skip this. Go ahead and use the yard for your garbage dump, Ilya. Hard as stone thou hast been, O earth of my father's. Grandpa, no. Soft as the down of the swan wilt thou become. The mighty falcon lifts his wings and is ready to fly again. Our son is like a man reborn. With strong hands shall help work our field. The banjo becomes angry at midnight. What the hell are you talking about? Forgive me, dear mother. I overreacted. But I cannot till the land or reap its riches. 
Berlin and his plunderers aim their deadly arrows at the heart of our country at this very moment. Oh, well. I cannot remain here while our country suffers. So you're copping out again. Give me your blessing, dear parents. You want the car, don't now you? No, I must go forth. What you tell us lies heavy on my heart, my son. I go because I must, mother. My country needs me. I give you my blessing, Ilya, my son. Go in peace. Why are you older than me, son? Guard against evil, my son. And help your fellow man. But not Murray. I shall remember your wishes always, mother. Hey, 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 you're in the wrong myth. You will need a strong horse. I would like to give you mine, Ilya. His name is Chestnut Gray. Oh, that's okay. I'll walk. <laughs> Do not concern yourself over his small size. Bathe him three times in dew, and he will grow until he becomes the mightiest of all the steeds you have ever known. Geez, I'm running late as it is. Well, let's get you far enough away where they won't hear the gunshot. No. Grow, Chestnut Gray. Grow. Isn't he supposed to bathe him in Mountain Dew, or...? Be thou as fleet of foot as the deer. My bonds will you work or bank. Swim rivers faster than the salmon. Streak across the ground swifter than the wolf. Higher than the falcon winging through the sky. Longer than there have been fishes in the ocean. When a stranger calls, hear him not. But when you hear my voice, run come swiftly like the wind. Anything else, your and highness? We shall be friends unto death, in deed and in battle. Oh, oh, I don't do battle. Good chestnut gray. Look, I got an offer from Calumet Farms. Serve me well, noble steed. He is a lonely, lonely man. Connery, Snipes. Daily Affirmations. The Duluth Chamber of Commerce bids you adieu. And wherever Ilya went, he carried his pool cue. Ah, jeez, cast it right into the weeds. Nevermore. Follow the right road, and you will find riches. Follow the left road, and you will find a wife. Go straight ahead, and you will find death. Chestnut Gray, quit doing your impressions. Riches would give me little joy. But I'll take them anyway. Now is no time to woo me a wife. But I'll take one anyway. So I shall follow the road that leads to death. I might not get to death tonight. I may spend the night at serious injury and head over to permanent disability in the morning. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to fall. Jin, round up every fin on the island. Thou shalt seek shelter in the southwest corner of thy basement. Where are the R.O.U.S.'s? Oh, this is downtown death. <laughs> this movie has a real viewmaster quality. Oh, why did Invincor like this job? Straight ahead, and you will find bed. Ah. Oh, maybe he has a good personality. Whoa, ugh, Dorito breath. Dizzy Gillespie asked. Well, that's always nice. Just blow the leaves into the neighbor's yard. Couldn't the wind just cry, Mary? You know, sometimes I wake up and I feel like this guy looks. Mm. He cannot harm you, Chestnut Gray. Yeah, sure. Let's go down the road to death. Fine. That was I thinking. Chestnut Gray is like the Chevy Suburban of horses. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Lucky yeah. shot. I can explain everything. <laughs> Looks like a fat owl, this one. And yet he cries rivers of tears. I'm a wind demon. It's my job. I shall take you to my prince, and he will decide what to do with you. Okay, let me put on my good fur. Princes, nobles, and warriors, here I sit with you in judgment, and here with you do I hold court. 
If there be any wrongdoers, let them be brought before us for judgment. Bring up Al D'Amato. I like having court outside. This villain must be punished, good prince. He tore my mare's tail off. You must find a suitable punishment for what he has done is a bad thing. It is bad. He has also stolen the royal timber. He must be a villain. Yes, Mr. I Christopherson. It is true that I did these things. But I had very good reason, sire. He loaned me his horse, but no harness. So I tied the wagon to the horse's tail. That is how it happened, sire. <laughs> it's the Finnish version of Night Court. He should be sent to prison. He must be punished. This is our verdict. I'll allow the DNA. You, Vagarin, give him your horse to ride through the forest until her tail shall grow back again. This is our judge. Justice, Regent Prince, justice. Get up, you brown noser. And you, young man, remember, you must return the horse to Bagal in good condition. And enter drug rehab. Yes, sire. I swear it. It's a kingdom of Robert Borks. Radiant Prince, Durbar the mighty warrior has returned to the palace. Oh, he's the artist formerly known as Radiant Prince. Summon all the nobles for a great feast. And see that all these people are fed well. I need a veggie meal. Can I bring my cousin? I'm lactose intolerant. Uh, can I have the money instead? But I don't like food. Our noble prince invites you all to the feast. <laughs> it may be the wine, Lars, but you're a pretty man. Sven, no, don't. You mustn't. Who's the new guy? We'll be showing the Vikes Packers game in just a few minutes, everyone. Excuse me, good people. Where's the men's room? Which among you is Prince Vanda? Why do you ask for the prince? A bumpkin like you belongs there, at the foot of the table with the peasants. You are too harsh with this stranger, Alexei. Let him be heard. Perhaps he brings important news. Yeah, like where the best buffets are. I came here not to feast, good nobles, but to serve my prince and my country. And I say you're not fit to sit at the same table with a noble. No, 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 no. You, a noble? More likely you joust with milkmaids behind the barn. I'm not gay. <laughs> He's the Finnish Oscar Wilde. Make way for the noble Mika, bearing rare and costly gifts for our prince. Good health and greetings, radiant prince. Look, I don't book openers anymore. I have collected all taxes and tributes. I was sorely wounded in battle, but I routed them all. All your enemies. Anyways, here's some of the stuff for we you, got. For you, dear prince, for you alone, I would do it again. I would gladly lay down my life. For a hamburger today. Radiant prince, I bested the mighty Sartak. For you, I would gladly give my life. No, no lick. So would we all, every one of us. The wind demon attacked me, and I cut him to ribbons in the enchanted forest. He lies, my prince. I saw him wet them on the field of honor. I know that he has not even set eyes on the wind demon. Who are you, good stranger? And where do you come from? I am Ilya Muromets. I am from Goldova. My father has a small farm there near the river. Uh, whoops, dropped a cufflink. And have you yourself seen the wind demon? I will show him to you. Say hello to the nice people, wind he demon. the evil one, not very big, but he's as mean as he looks. I've never seen such a monster. Command him to whistle as loud as he can. Can he really create the wind? That he can do, but do not let him frighten you. You eat lunch. Wait, Alicia. Please, do not run away. Wang Chung with me. Someone will see us here. I do not care, as long as we're together. My brothers say I'm too young to be wooed, Alexei. I cannot Statutory live without woo. you. Statutory woo. You belong to me, Alicia. Oh, Captain Spaulding. <sighs> now whistle, you ugly wind demon, but only with half of your strength. Clint Howard. <laughs> now whistle, evil one. Hmm. You know how to whistle, don't you? Oh, yuck, he was eating crackers. The summer wind demon came blowing in. Roll up the barrels. <laughs> Clean up some breeze thanks to wind demon. <laughs> Wacky sight gags of ancient Finlandia. This is Rittenhouse. Man, I'm killing tonight. The wind hooked me to a cable. Everyone knows it's windy. The wind even has killed a lot of people, but it's all in good fun. <laughs> stop him, Make him stop. Stop him, 
him before he blows us away. Stop. We've seen enough to make him stop. Hold your breath, spawn of the devil. You have performed your last evil deed. Hey, you Go asked me. No more children with your blasts of wind. This country bumpkin is quite a fellow, I think. Yes, jolly good, old man. Ergida, ergida, ergida. Oh, yuck, he's in the spittoon. That was pretty good, Kenny Scat. Take this, Ilya, as a reward for your service. As for this demon, his reward will match his deed. Put him in my private chambers. I got a blow. <laughs> you are a man after my own heart, Ilya. Want to start a band? And so ZZ Top was born. Take no offense at Alexei. He has a quick temper, but he is a brave and courageous soldier. Let us be friends. I'm Bob for marketing. We shall be friends. Friends to the end, Ilya. Your steed beside my own. Now let us make a pledge. We shall be as brothers, the three of us. The younger brother must heed the elder, and together we shall venture forth. Together, in good and in bad, we three. All for one and one for all. This Yo. must be our way. Our country we shall defend with our lives if we must. Bravo, Ilya Muromets! Bravo, Ilya Muromets! Put on the armor of a noble, Ilya. You have earned it. I thank you, Prince. Bad tidings, old Prince. Colleen's envoys have arrived at the city gates. We got a great big envoy. Pavarotti tour is in town. Close the buffet. Wow, wow, wow. He's going to blow. <laughs> greet them with bread and salt. Those swine who laid waste our land. I would rather greet them with arms than with bread and salt, Simon. Those are very bold words, Celia. Would you teach me how to rule? First, we shall hear this envoy. Then we shall decide what course to take. All right, that's how you want to do it. Sounds like the stripper's on next. Somebody get me a bucket, I'm gonna throw it. I come as an envoy from the mighty chief Colin. It is his will that you shall pay him taxes and tributes. For 12 years you must pay these tributes to us, else we will invade your land and empty your coffers. Damn liberals. Eat and drink your fill. We shall pay what you ask. We shall do Here's it your appetizers, huh? Collins envoy shall not to be bribed with bread and salt. To send such a dolt as an envoy is an insult. Does he not look like a great fat ox to you? Who dares speak thus to Collins envoy? I would strike him down as soon as look at him. Guard your tongue or I'll cut it off. You come here with words of war. Therefore, we answer in kind. And we are prepared. Resistance is useless. I will make you bow to our mighty chief, Kali. The words of your boasting shall die in your throat, envoy of Kalim. I have heard enough. Your head shall be the first I chop off. Oh, it's a Matt Granite gargoyle. By your own sword, dog. You shall die for Kali. Oh, right in the love handle. Think that the fat man is different than I remember. Jake the fat man. Uh, anyone know why we're retreating? Run, accursed dogs! Run back to your master, Colleen! Yeah, and babies! And tell him the same fate awaits anyone he sends us! Tell him we will fight! We will pay no tribute! Our buffets are safe again! Come wash your hands, oh noble soldier. They're filthy. He is a mighty warrior, as mighty as Dervan, and as courageous as Alexei is. His strength exceeds that of Invincible. For your gallantry, I will forge for you a coat of armor finer than the prince's own coat of gold. Yeah, sure you will. Take this lance. <laughs> it was forged for a mighty warrior. He never claimed it. I thank you all, good people. I'm out of here. I shall try to be worthy of your trust. The prince! The royal pants! Make way to the prince. Fabulous, the prince. Ooh, it's warmer than I thought it was out here. For your service to our people. It's dry clean only. All hail Ilya Moravec. <laughs> oh, we need lighter heroes. <laughs> oh, once again, I'm not invited. Finland is so clicky. I must act quickly. I must get rid of this new hero, else I will have to answer for myself to Colleen and his terrible band of cutthroats. Thanks for the aside. And here is your share. All of this. All the gold for you, here. 
And now for my share... Microsoft stock. <laughs> I will take what is left, the captive maid, who stands there waiting anxiously for me. <laughs> Let me have her, Tartak, and you can have all my silver. No, don't play with Give your Give her booty. to me. You can have all the gold. Not so fast. Ooh. You shall not have her. Nor are you. Hmm. I will take the captive maid to Chief Kalin. No. He is sure to give me half a kingdom for this prize beauty. Uh, exit, stage left. Shall never be, you plundering thieves. Gypsies and tramps. She will be Ooh. set free to go home to her parents. Uh, I'm trying to sleep. Fear not, little one. They shall harm you no longer. I shall release you. Nothing on this earth. Just let me say goodbye to Glock. Not even a Tuga would keep you from me ever again. The prince! Look busy! I see you are quarreling again, my rich and worthy nobles. So just give me the remote. If I gave you free reign, you would tear our country apart with your fighting. Matthew Bredor. <laughs> You're going to hit me, aren't you? I have work for you. You must prepare a caravan of furs and copper. I'm dead. And voyage out to sea. Sure, I wasn't doing anything for the next ten years. Ooh, the Song of the South. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dinner. Johnny Mercer lyrics really make this song. She did all the same stuff at her last concert. Okay, we all drop on three. It's a living! Hey, I've got a baby to deliver. I'd rather be roadkill than listen to this. How about a tip, lady? Well, I gotta go spread the plague. Boy. Oh, the magic of Heidi, ladies and gentlemen. This song contains satanic messages. Hey, Red Fox! <laughs> Bunny Rich! Oh, hit him. Still spinning and weaving, Delia, my love? What's with the oven yes, mitts? It's a lonely thought. It has been lonely here without you. I, too, have spent many years of loneliness, my dear wife. But that is all behind me now. I am lonely no more. I got a cast. In our marriage, I have found true happiness, dearest Vilja. A priceless gift. Now, ah, where the hell's my dinner? But what is this? How much did this cost? This cloth. It's woven of gold. It glitters. It is not a cloth. It is a magic tablecloth. Uh-huh. It is beautiful indeed. For whom did you make it? Deb's wedding shower. For the one whom I love the best. The milkman? Now you must rest from your labors, my busy little wife. Let us the nasty do. All these wonders. The earth offers it all for us to glory in. A beautiful sunset in Branson, Missouri. Hey, it's the Mina, the Pinta, and the Mango Santa Maria. <laughs> You can almost see her hairline. Grieve not, my sweet one. <laughs> grieve not. We do not part for long. I know. That's what I'm grieving about. I shall drive Carleen and his wicked two guards from the gates of our city once and for all and rid our land of those traitors who would be trained. Okay. See you after work. In this most bitter hour of our party, tell me, dearest one. Can I have the checkbook? Tell me truly of your greatest wish. Pudding. Lots of pudding. Bear me a son. Vilja, a brave son, to grow up strong and be a great warrior. Merlin Olsen is no action hero. The falcons in the sky, they were witness to our love, little Vilja. No. If you should bear a son, call him little falcon. How about Rick? And whenever I see a falcon, um, something, I shall think of my son. It is my greatest wish to give you the son you desire, my beloved. If you bear a son... I want to know who the father is. Give him is. this ring. It was given to me by our prince. Oh, he's going to give her his letter jacket, too. 
That's enough now. We're being too demonstrative. Head now to Eden. Yay. Once again, Vilia was to be separated from her love. She came over last night and we just Ilya, talked. Vilia, fearing another attack by the two guards, insisted that his wife accompany the prince's caravan of furs and copper. On the, the open Simmons sea, boat. he reasoned, Vilia would be safe from harm. Her singing will keep everyone at bay. Nice auto harp. Hey, lady, you're putting the bass down. Want to grab an oar, Nana Muscori? <laughs> Boy, he can whip up a horn faster than you can say Jack Robinson. No, the other way. Hey, it's the other sea king. Down. 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 British are coming. The Navy SEALs are here. Hi, I'm Julie, your cruise director. Hey, you nicked me. Come to Uncle Mongo. <laughs> By the gods, here she is again, that pretty one for Kalina. Ha <laughs> bang! <laughs> The Magnificent Torkelsons. Greetings from Rosemary Clooney. Here comes a king, here comes a big number one. White track simulated film snow, passed for it by <laughs> name. Matthew Bradova. You're not wearing that, are you? What is wrong? I'm cold and I'm wet and I want to go in. Punish me not, O Prince. Please let me speak first. Okay, now punish me. Speak then. We were attacked. By a band of two guards. They wanted the caravan to carry things. I escaped. After spending months in bondage. That was the good part. When the Snow Days Festival was going so well. Ilya Muramets, huh? That's Italian. Why was he not there to help? Did I not tell you, Radiant Prince? He is a fool. He is not the sort of man to be trusted, sire. He should have been there to help Matthew. For this, I will banish him from the court. For three full years. Throw down your hot dogs. If you banish Ilya, you exile our strength. Fond as I am of Ilya. I hate him. This must be done. He goes to the dungeon to pay for his deed. Executive producer, Stephen Bochco. Greetings to you, good soldiers. Hi. I see you serve our city well. There is little joy in our service today, I fear, Ilya. I gotta work. Blame us not, Ilya. The prince has given orders. You're not to enter. You jest, do you not? I have ridden here in great haste to help rid the palace of its traitors. Do not let him in the palace. Not with his shoes on. The prince's orders. This is your work, O captor of the wind demon, so brave and fearless in battle, huh? Ilya has told me the true story of your treachery and deceit, traitorous villain. Ooh. Ilya, you're not wanted here anymore. You have been banished. So you all conspire against me, do you, my nobles? Let me just... You soon see how I deal with conspirators. Dig this. He does gutter work. I think he should be hanged soon as possible. I think he should be drawn and quartered. Let the prince decide what to do with him. If the prince wants no more of me, then I want no more of his gifts, you may tell him. As I drag this coat in the snow by its dangling sleeve... It gets filthy. So I shall drag those traitors to have plotted against me. Here, and no starch. You nobles are ready enough to join in a feast. What about the two guards, huh? Who among you is ready to stand up and fight when the two guards come? They are brave men, they are. When the two guards are far away. I will drive every traitor from the palace, I swear it! You act too hastily, brother warrior. The prince is quick of temper, but he cools quickly, too. He has sent me to fetch you. 
Come to the palace with me. My honor is at stake. I'll not rest till I've exposed these scoundrels. Don't do not go. He's consulting with Black Oak, Arkansas. <laughs> Have you forgotten the pledge we took, Ilya Moramitz? The younger brother shall heed the older. That was our pledge, Ilya. Look. Our prince is wise and knows whom to send here. No one could persuade me to go but you, Durbar. Durbar? Come, let us go to the palace now. Hmm. Anyway, on Melrose Place, that. Oh, no more. Shh. Why did you draw your bow in anger beneath my window? To avenge the wrong you did in accusing me unjustly, sire. The arrow did not leave his bow. He has evil thoughts of you, O oh Prince. I saw him trample your coat on the ground thusly and threaten to do the same to you, sire. Yes, I heard him threaten to that in a moment. Yes, he did. It is I, oh You're man. out of order. The whole damn castle's oh, out of order. But I did not threaten you, my prince. He is not to be trusted, sire. He will stir the entire court into mutiny, sire. There's the little matter of an unauthorized fax. Listen, already they are rebellious. It is not in the streets the treachery is planned, oh my prince. It's at a Chili's. It is right here, in the palace, that it is hidden. Your words are empty, Ilya. They are untrue. What shall we do with this traitor? Away with him to the dungeon. Feed him bread and water. Uh, then a salad, then an appetizer. Perhaps there he will learn humility and wisdom. Prince Vanda, I thank you for inviting me to feast with you. And you too, Durbar, for persuading me to come. I always believed you to be on the side of justice, my prince. Let Ilya go free. He boasted that he would rule our country. The deed is done now. Lead him away. So bogus. Take him to the dungeon! You know, it would be easy to grab the wrong whiskery fat guy. <laughs> and I so willed I could have crumbled your palace into bits, but I had no wish to spoil its decorations. The hour will come, Prince Vanda, when you will bow to me. I can be such a bitch. Oh, lead me away, lackeys and schemers. I am weary of this talk. Everybody is talking at me. It is not Ilya Moramitz you have wronged, but our country herself. You have taken the sword from her hand. He speaks the truth. We swear never to set foot in the palace. Don't we? You banished us as well. Finland's annual emotional outburst. Uh, all for one and one for all? Hmm. Yeah. Be in my ready room. Oh, I hate this thing. It does not make me feel pretty. What you have done is most unwise, my dear. Let him go free. Send him away to a village. He has performed many services for our country, my dear. Perky wife. Feed him well, mind you. Look after him. Spread some papers. Give him a chew toy. He will repent. That country bumpkin thinks himself higher than the prince. He is much too proud. He will never repent. Feed him well, I tell you. Feed him well, I command it. So they fed him ice and water. Oh, the ice seems safe. Let's drive our pickup onto it. Yes, Finland is a four-season vacation paradise. I always got put right next to the ice machine. <laughs> July in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get it. The cycle of friggin' life. I think it's a film on sex. Well, he tells me. This legend could have used some punching up. Legend of Boggy Creek had more depth. That I have not done, nor will I. Just empty the chamber pot. He must have died of hunger. Seven moons have passed. I must send the signal to Sartak. Now, Swift River, you must help. Carry my message to the two guards who wait this promised signal, which will be the sign to attack. Fish. Hey, what are you doing up there, eh? Oh, oh, heaven help me. There was someone down there. Oh, oh, I'm Robin Williams. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I could go my whole life without seeing that. Well, they call him the streak. <gasps> I smell fresh pants. I'll make myself a soup out of these trousers. Ah. This is strange. I set a trap for a fox. I'd catch a pair of breeches instead. Now I'm folding them. And now I'm holding this up. 
This key looks familiar. I have seen it before. Bending over now. Ah. This looks like trickery. That devil is a sly one. But I can play trick too. <laughs> hey, you don't need to convince us. <laughs> Wacky prop comic, Ludifus now, Top. Come, wherever you like. Oh. Where the tide takes you. Beyond the seventh sea. Yeah, this scene sure brings the film into sharp focus. <laughs> Joyous news, oh exalted one. I'm a bird, go Some away. passing merchants have told me of the prince. Got my headphones on. They're thrown more of it into a prison, but all the nobles are deserting for a home and refusing to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Bring good news. I'll destroy the infidels who dare defy me. It's Boris Badenov. Battle the horses. And Siegfried and Roy. Get that horse out of my living room. The signal, we have just found it. In the river. He kept his word, that sly one. This was the signal we arranged. Once again, Colleen, I served you well. Let me see what you have. Drop him. He sent a pantsagram. I ordered Heather. By Beelzebub, a pair of breeches. These pants have stirred something deep inside me. What does it signify to you? It signifies the man had a large can. <laughs> they are ready to surrender to Kali. Huh. Blossom was really funny last night. You see, these breeches are a symbol of the unconquerable might of Kali. And we'll take Two them in. Trumpets, as it were, each ready to herald the power and the glory that is Kali. I don't know what I'm talking about I here. I see two roads here, and both of them will lead Kali to victory. <laughs> yes. Victory shall be ours finally. Ah, the golden uh, age of making stuff the up. The attack must be timed according to the star. You are correct, sir. It is not yet time to attack until the gods of battle tell us. We will bide our time. We will wear our pads. Unsaddle all the horses. Okay. <laughs> and while Colleen waited for a favorable sign, Ilya Muromets rotted in a dark dungeon. Unaware that his wife had borne the son he so fervently wanted. Oh. And so the months slipped by. Like a pair of pants. You are still only a baby. And already stronger than an oak. And dumber than a grow hammer. Grow, my son, grow tall and strong. And be like your father. I'm trying. <laughs> courage like his. But I don't want to watch Power Rangers. And strength as well. Can I get some breakfast or what? Little Falcon, my son. This is your present from him. Is my face as weird as it feels? Burgers are ready. Well? Kiss your Aunt Bernice. Run along and play, little one. Oh, thanks. What's the draw strength on this thing? Could I take down an elk? Why do you not love me? You look like RuPaul. Why do you run away? How many times must I tell you? I wish to keep you for my own. Never. I despise you. He has an Audi in the middle of his head. Who loves you, baby? You shall never touch me, Colleen. I swear it on my life. What manner of man are you to force me? Kings grovel at my feet, and so will you, my dear. I would sooner you threw me into a cage of wild animals. Mm, done and done. You will never have me. <laughs> I do need a father, Mom. <laughs> I will kill you! Oh, God, I'm country! Ah, the little wolf cub. He fights, eh? <laughs> I got it handled, Mom. <laughs> what? I'm a Mongol. I shall teach you how to fight. And your enemy shall be the cursed prince. Sound all right? Uncle Bio, can I shoot you in the back? Oh! Frampton comes alive. Ow! Oh, jeez! I've never hit a damn thing. It's astounding! You are still a boy, little falcon. And already you have the strength of a warrior. You shall challenge our champion to a jousting bout. We'll put it on pay-per-view. Show us, little falcon, whom I call my son, how skillfully you wield a lance. Michael Keaton. I know I shall be proud of you. The Tower of Gord's horn section. 
What do I do with this? <laughs> That's funny. Where's he going, Jerry? That's it? I want my money back. Shouldn't there be a dragon around pretty soon? What are you laughing? What? I don't get it. What? To the dungeon with this weekly. Let him guard the captive. <laughs> Sorry, something I ate. Well done, little Falcon. You have earned the cap of champion to wear as your own. Now, Mongolian stir fry for everyone. The time has come to take up our arms. We move at last. Wow, now that is a horde. This is a free festival now, man. I uh, wish we had the yogurt franchise for this horde. It's kind of a Mingus jazzy feel. Hmm. Hello, little mongrel horde. <laughs> a giant pair of pants back there. So they walked from China to Finland. Are we going the right way? Just following you? I don't know. One guy following along with a pooper school. Sounds like a concerto for timpani and car horn. <laughs> I'm going to Helsinki to personally spear that stump-throwing son of a bitch. Will the Lawrence of Arabia people please get to their proper sets? No, keep it open. Oh, great. Our plan is ruined. Give us 700 carts filled with gold, Prince Vanda. Or prepare to surrender yourself as hostage. Almighty Chief Callan gives you three hours to reply. If you refuse, your bones will bleach in the sun. It's a White Sox pennant, I think. We will take your princess captive for the pleasure of our chief. Give this reply to Carlin. <laughs> what you have demanded, we will pay you. In three days from now. We have to call and clear it with the bank. You must bring your tribute to Colleen's camp at the river. Well, which of your nobles will you send to fight them? Here they are. Choose one. Uh, <laughs> well, well, Chiropractor, this is dealing at the time. Wow. So truly, <laughs> Ilya Morimet, when he said there would be many to feast with you, but none to stand up for our land, he spoke wisely. Are you Mongols need another wife? Oh, if only Ilya were with us, this Kalin would not keep us in terror. A Kali is keeping them in terror? I shall go to him and ask his forgiveness. Prince! 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 He may be dead. He has refused food and drink. Why have you kept this from me? Open the dungeon. You'll pay for this. You hold a fin by the beard, it immobilizes him. Wait here, Radiant Prince. I must run and fetch the key. I do not have it with me. Is this not the key? I believe this is the key to the dungeon, sire. Well, a damn confusing kingdom here. So, you wily scoundrel, you starved him to death, son of misery. Hey, I just got to sleep after 20 years. Oh, he's alive, alive! Well, as alive as a fin gets, he anyway. He is alive. Yeah. I bet him, Prince, as you commanded. He lies, my prince. He is the traitor who has plotted against you. He's got bad head. It was this that I came to tell you, but I was thrown into this dark dungeon instead. And I wake up with my beard in my mouth. So, he would have died in this dungeon without my bread and water. It was my Vilia who saved my life. Come, I will show you what she did. I'll never smile again. I must warn you, I've got a weird scene going here. A miracle. Truly a miracle. That's what we need. Forgive me, Ilya. I have wronged you. Help us, Ilya, against Kali. You wish my help, Prince. Ilya, we need you. Honey, can I do just one Great thing? Great danger threatens. The two guys stand at our gate. Just two guys? Vast numbers of them. Oh. Help us, Ilya. Help us. Forget your grievance, Ilya. Pete Rose. For people's sake. Thought it over, and I will definitely not help you. 
Not for your sake, my Prince Vanda, nor for the sake of your princess. But for the sake of the new Christy minstrels. But for the beloved land which gave me birth and which I love, for her will I give my strength. For the regular Joe, trying to make a living. For the farmers. For you, Ilya Muramets, my golden suit of armor. We'll let it out. And for that traitor, the boiling tar. With croutons and melted cheese. You know, I'd kind of like to watch the whole uh, melting tar thing if you wouldn't have... What? Tell me, what do you think we should do first? There is one thing we must do without a moment's delay. Let's have lunch. You must summon all of your fighting men to your side to plan the battle at once. You love this man? I love this man. Within three days, I will assemble every warrior in the land. Just don't get it, do you? Well, that didn't work. I claim this Mongol for all crows everywhere. Ah. Crows, my brethren. See what a grand and noble creature they are. Uh -huh. But Colleen's men were restless for plunder and would not wait. And beyond the palace, on another plain outside the city, they attacked. Greatly outnumbered, the bold defenders fought back bravely. Sort of. And won the day. But what of tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to sleep in. With... Oh, he needs the movie. Pile? <laughs> Please dispose of your Mongols properly. Another super fun site is born. Woodstock 2 ends in tragedy. The mass effects of watching Pauly Shore's last movie. This indeed was a costly battle, but we had to keep the foe in check. Well, I like well, it. The has wronged us sorely. Still, we have fought against the enemy who threatened yeah. us. And now we must help him further, Alexei. Not even if the path be strewn with golden coins. I will not fight for him again. We must forget our feelings. The prince stands in his greatest danger, and he needs us. Would you lead me to the prince as once you led Ilya? For the nobles to jeer at? Do you think I do not feel about Ilya as you do, grieving over the fate that has befallen him? Shall we dance? Why do you quarrel so? Something to do. Has the world grown too narrow for both of you? You must hasten to William Moramets. He is alive. I have heard that he lives. He lives? Yes, he is safe and well. This is indeed wondrous. Hey! <coughs> Excuse me, your smoke. <coughs> We all need our own campfires. Must have got a hold of some wet wood or something. Bacon grease. Yeah, you got yourself quite a view from the patio, Elia. We are gonna get our butts kicked so bad. I'll get used to Mongolian beef, everybody. Uh, is there a back way out of this place? <laughs> Hey, they took the Golden Gate Bridge. The three days have already passed. Soon the two guys will strike again. There's a lot more than two and guys still out no there. no sign of our men. I myself shall go to Colleen and persuade him to grant us three days more. Oh, sweetheart, will you? Bear neither gold nor silver. Fill new sacks to the brim and load them on gilded carts. Hearken to these words from a simple farmer, my prince. We will use torn sacks and load them on old carts. We will take but a small portion of your treasures. I have thought out a plan. You ride slowly and drop a jewel on the ground every ten paces. Uh, drop this, old man. And you drop a silver coin at every hundred paces. I'll do it later. And you at every thousand paces a golden coin. This is great. I can't believe how Prince well Santa my plan is working. Bridges. I want them. I will expect each of you, my warriors, to bring home much gold from his palace. It shall all be ours. I bet you get most of it. All of it ours. <laughs> well, you'll be more than two hours, sir. Um, de -de 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 -de. Mighty Chief Colleen. Prince Vanda has sent us here with gifts and bounty as you have commanded. But that's the tricks are for kids <laughs> monument. So the prince has submitted. He is wise, your prince. Yes, Kali. Here is all the treasure. In the first cart, silver. And outrageous bars. And this one is filled with coins of gold. 
And the one beside it is loaded with jewels. And we'll throw the guy in, too. They're all for you. Unload the cart and pour the gold into my sack. What? You don't like our sacks? The paper or plastic, sir. Hey, a wheat penny! Yeah. Oh, are they having a cootie festival? Is that... <laughs> this is indeed unfortunate. You see... It's good burlap. I don't know what happened. It is quite simple. As we prepared to leave the palace walls, the prince was in great sorrow, as you can understand. Mm. His riches he loaded on broken carts, and his gold he poured into these torn sacks. It must all have spilled on the way here. You buying any of this? And only these few pieces of gold are left. Huh. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Will your men go back for it, or shall I send mine? Service is our middle name. I fear if I send mine, you may not get it all. Well, uh, we searched guy. all day for Chief, and have found no gold. Put him to his death like a dog. What kind of dog, my do lord? Do not act in anger, Colleen. There is no need to be hasty about killing me. First, you must take the treasures that are yours. <laughs> Hit me! He's got all our spoons. So when does Elias' plan kick in? He's got Dick Butkus intensity. Huh, you're mad, aren't you? You're mad. That's telling him, sir. Oh! oh. It's worse than Bobby Knight. No, it's Bob. Whosoever steals from me will die by my own sword, like the dog that he is. Come forward, Chief Warrior. He loves that dog thing. Gather every coin and treasure. Pile it all at my feet. Move it, move it, move it! It is better to give up the gold than lose our heads. Empty your pockets, sir. The print shall repay us a thousandfold. Yes, yes! Pile all the treasure at my feet. Every piece. Every coin. Oh, that was gratuitous, Ted. Come on. Oh, and it goes without saying, do it like the dogs you are! <laughs> ah, this is better than shopping by mail. <laughs> his plan seems ungainly. Ah, uh, yes, Michael Ovitz at his monthly manager's meeting. There, hope you choke on it. There goes my laundry money, you dickweed. Thanks to you, it's working. The United Way. You see, Chief Colleen, what great riches you have now. But it is not enough. I want moose and squirrel. I still lack like one thing to make me content. Bring to me Ilya Moramat. That is what I'd like. <laughs> then shall I retreat from your gate. <laughs> so shall it be, mighty Colleen. Yo, baby, you Return heard him. Return to the palace. Go to the dungeon and seek out Ilya Muromets. And bring him back here with you to this very place. Hurry. What is his plan? And tell the prince not to dally. There is not a moment to lose. Tell him that. Do you understand? Am I alone here? Hello? Almighty Chief Kalin. We have searched along every road. They are not bringing Ilya Moromets. Oh, and I made pudding in a skull. You have deceived me, emissary. And you shall die. I am willing to stake my own life on it. Ilya Moromets will appear before you. If I had Ilya Moromets before me, I would retreat and withdraw my men. Here I stand! He's a disco Ilya ball. Moromets! Now withdraw your men. You are bound by the promise you have made to retreat. Chad, I have a big problem with this. You think perhaps I am a fool? I should chop off your head. I had my fingers crossed all the time. But for the courage you have shown, I might pardon you. I shall command and you follow, my clever emissary. You shall be one of us. Never shall I serve a tyrant or betray my native land. We shall fight you to the end until we have regained our freedom. There we were. Take your men and retreat at once, tyrant. We shall destroy you, each and every one of you. Uh, tie him up. Uh, how's this, sir? I wish him to be burned alive. Like a dog, sir? Bring him here to me. I shall pull his arms out of his socket. 
Drag him here. With these hands, bloody tyrant, I shall crush the breath from your monstrous body. Harry Houdini lives. Lassie. Fooled them into thinking tea was ready. <laughs> Ooh, a real sepia tone has come over the crowd. After him. I want him alive. Mighty chief, your allies have fled. They refused to join you and your men in the attack on Prince Vanda. Ah, that felt well, good. You, you must go alone against them, and in single combat. Elia's plan is still on. Don't give up hope. This is Arthurian in the sense that Arthur with Dudley Moore is Arthurian. Ho, ho, ho! I mean, hi, diddly dee! your strongest man to meet me in single combat! Sunday, ah! Sunday, Sunday. Great, my fruitcake son is calling me. Come, my young braggart who shouts so loudly. I am ready to meet you in single combat. You are too old and feeble. You are no match for me. Go home, old man. Hey, I walk the malls. You must first kill a falcon, young man, before you bind him. You are afraid to fight. Eh? Now I shall show you no mercy, old one. This movie has the same plot as a boy named C. <laughs> Father? Yes, son. I want to kill you. Mother? Guys. I want to. Guys. This is going to turn into the guns of Will Sonnet now, isn't it? Uh -huh. Oh. Up, you young braggart. Up. Your strength is great. Your odor is powerful. <laughs> mm. I want to go to art school. Nice ring. You get that wholesale. Absorbing this into my plan. My plan is very flexible. Hold, my brave young warrior. I had not thought we would ever meet on the field of battle. Why did you not kill me when you could, old man? I would have shown you no mercy were I in your place. Be not so fiery, my wild, unbroken colt. <laughs> Tell me your name, young man, and what do they call you? Who are your father and mother? I have no mother. I have never seen her. I am little Falcon, the son of Colleen. What you say is not true. I am your father. Oh, great. My dad's Burl Ives. Do you speak the truth, old man? Is this really the truth? Yes, I speak the truth. Look now, I will show you. I got a little birthmark on my left butt. See, this is my ring you are wearing. You graduated 83, too? Oh, they get the family channel on their ring. It's a little Dutch boy. It is as though in a vision. I see my mother. Mom. Oh, father. Will you ever forgive me for what I have done? Why did you lick me, son? <laughs> and now, I wish to fight with all my power for the prince and you. Kid's loyalty turns on a no, dime. No, my son. I have a plan. Oh, First, no! you must go back and find your mother, boy. You will know her by the scar on her right cheek from the sword of one of Colleen's two guards. Kind of a long way, Dad. Is there a bus or something? We must pretend to fight. They are watching us. Strike me, Father, with all your strength. I want every penny's worth. Please, who am I, Gary Crosby? Kill them all! Massacre every one of them! Old and young! Wilton! Spare no one! Elias' plan moves into phase nine. You will take the left flank, Alexei. I like white and meat. Gerbar's men will follow along the right flank. And I will lead my men through the center of their ranks. The prince remains here with his men to defend the palace. Foghat prepares for war. No rain! No rain! No rain! We are live from beautiful Trojan Stadium today. That is one Irish Catholic family. The cattle call for sound of music. The hills, the hills are alive. The hills are alive. The hills are alive. The hills are alive. Run away. 50,000 Maria Von Trapps face off against the Mongol horde. Who among you knows my mother? She died. Come on, people, let's wake up in here. I know she is somewhere in this dungeon. You're not supposed to be on this floor. She has a small scar on her right cheek. 
It is the remembrance of a two-gar sword. Now, I was a baby when I last saw her, so I'll need to see all your breasts. Are you Irene Mother, Pappas? Me. Mother, do not send me away. Please forgive me. Go watch TV. Please. I have found my true father. Did you follow the trail of beer cans? He sends you his love. Did he send any money? My boy. You have a weird face. My boy. I could really use my boy right now. Better check that boat for milfoil. Oh, rotten Trojan horse there. Hoist the sails after them. Down with the two guards. We fight for Dolly Madison. Oh, everyone thought to bring a light wrap. Vroom, vroom. Here we go. Vroom, vroom. Did someone invent water? And still more Maria's. Hog pile on Jim. I wish to see the strength of the enemy. I must know the size of the force he pits against me. No need to explain, sir. We like making mountains of men. Fire! 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 I want to take you higher. Fire! The trick here is to be one of the last ones on the pile. It's a two-gar pileup. You got your elbow in my groin. Oh, I need to move my face. Your, uh, oh. My, oh, what is that? Oh, it's soft. Come rally to my side, warriors, and I will show you where Prince Banda and his cowards hide. I shall be the Echo, responding to his call. The first product of the Acme Company. <laughs> my fillings. Go now, to the game. Release Tomb of the Fire Dragon. The palace will be nothing but ashes and smoke. Can we get up now? It's Ghidra. Okay, we're going left. I say we're going right. Will you two quit arguing? I'll decide. Oh, no, we're going left. That's right. We're going left. Shut up their fire dragon. They have released it. Go, little falcon. You must go back and help them now. No, I will not leave you here alone. No harm shall come to me. I will find my way home safely, my son. Admit it, we're lost. This baby can handle everything but a three-headed dra... Oh, son of a... Oh. I love the smell of dragon breath in the morning. This dragon of theirs breathes fire, but we will extinguish him. Look, he flies like a nightingale. I heard that. I do not fly like that. Look, the spear has hit him. Help the bombardier. I'll handle this, guys. Well, if you're sure. Yeah, you two run along. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Well, the poor little guy's just scared. The point of having a dragon is to tell the world you have a dragon. Why did you keep it a secret? Ah, shoot, I just waxed that boat. I love my job. The prince shall be killed. When we are the victors, Mortimer dies. He shall be burned alive. Dragon Slayer 2, the uncalled for. August Strindberg's backdraft. Now for the best part of my plan. Retreat! You get that dragon, the world's biggest mint. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, I'm on fire. Help! Fiery dragon. His breath. This is like our oven. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? Is somebody putting away the silverware? <laughs> Father, together we shall send this fiery monster back to the hell he came from! Little Thelonious Falcon, you get down from there right now. Oh, I always have to carve. Water! 
not for me! Dragon head, all right. All right, dragon sandwiches for the next month. Follow me, warriors. The enemy is in retreat. We shall drive them into the sea. Horse looks like Stallone. Ilya's plan is still being taught at West Point. <laughs> Gee, the sky is as clear as Gary, Indiana. <coughs> you know, now I have an unhealthy hatred of Finnish people. I suppose, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's been on, we've been yeah, out there quite kicking. a while. Uh, it's Miller time. time to get back home. If you don't want to ride those horses, you could take the fjord. <laughs> Should we make a big mountain? No, we won't have to make a big mountain. Just this last Foxy lady. Back! Back, Colin! Fine! Oh. <laughs> the battle, listen to my oath. Spare me and I shall serve you. I promise it. Ooh, is there a dipping sauce? Spare me, I beg of you. Be merciful. Spare a handful of two guards, please. So we may be get done. Stay your hand, warrior. Our people shall judge the fate of Kali. Let us take him alive to the palace. Treat him like the cur that he is. Stuff him in the sack and carry him back to the palace. <laughs> oh, those guys are so fun at times like this. Well, if you can laugh once in war. Go and the mighty chief, Kali. The hills are in flames. I have some things to explain about me and the Wind Demon. Feel you, my dear. I want to feel you, Ilya. Last time, Hey, they captured Billy Barton. Oh, it's Housing Project Hill. I have rock ports. In your honor, Ilya, we shall have a feast. Now get back to the dungeon, you. Henceforth, Ilya, you shall live in the palace. You shall become a noble or a prince. Or something. I thank you, my prince, but I could not live in the palace. It stinks in there. I must pursue my destiny. I must go where adventure leads me. I'm joining the Hogan Tour. The road to life has many different paths. This brave and willing soldier, Ow. he will serve you well at court. He is my son. So be it. We shall be proud to have with us the son of Ilya Morgan. Even though he is a Mongol bastard. Bring no dishonor on the magic sword of Invincer. Gee, Dad, it's a daisy. Ow! I cut myself. I accept this sword, and I shall honor it always, Father. Bravo, Ilya Morgan! Bravo! Bravo respects the rights of the artist. But Ilya's son did bring dishonor. He traded the sword for a lid and got high in the palace. <laughs> So long, country bumpkin. Fresh as frost out on the pumpkin. I'll see you some sides of the magic. 